now from the home of the A's since 1968, a look at the O.Co. Coliseum in Oakland. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series. Bobby Crocker will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Eric Karros, this Red Sox ball club, entering play here tonight. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. They've had to fly cross-country here to start this road trip, so these will be a pretty telling next few series to see what this team's really made of. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if it starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Now here's the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Pitch on the way. A curveball here, but he was waiting for it and sends it in the air to deep left field. Number 10 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Billy Butler will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. on the way drops in a strike to start the at bat nothing in one you know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away the pitch and this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now now here's the pitch Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And this is taken there by Butler. It's a ball and two strikes. Not too sure how you take that one on 0-2. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. Here's the pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Hayes are gone in order. They still trail 1-0. Josh Reddick will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Foul back. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Here it comes. And they'll try to go away with this one, but it misses as well, and it's to two and one now. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Stepping in now, number eight. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. One -oh. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right. And there are two away now. Brad Miller will dig in for the first time here. Looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. 
They're just missing here, 2-0. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's 3-1. and one. All right, Good at bat so far here with two away. He's going to go down in order. At least make that guy work for it. He's got himself back into a fastball count now. Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Chris Young get his first shot at it here. He's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Now the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. Number 66 is there to take it now, and Young is gone on just one pitch. Matt Davidson digs in at the plate. Davidson swing and a liner. Foul. A's still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Ready now on one and one. Here we go. Right now. Come on, guys. In there, one and two now. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. He'll try again, one, two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Josh Begley will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Now the pitch. Ball one. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick ball. Now a little dribbler up the line to first. But a foul ball, one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. The one-two. Now a big swing, and this is a major league pop-up. Way up there toward the center of the diamond. Number 32 has got it, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Bobby Crocker will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now here it comes. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And it looks like that will put him into the hit column here as this is into left field, a base hit. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Number 20. Get an opportunity now following the leadoff double. And with his guys down by a run, at the very least, you need to try to shoot something to the right side. Hopefully get that runner over to third with one out. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Here comes a 1-2. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Here comes a 2-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Billy Butler will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And that's...
has off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Josh Reddick will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Offering. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. The pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Number 66 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Brad Miller comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big, looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Number 10 is there, and he has it for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Chris Young. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0-2. And, and now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. Throw on to Craig will be in time. And the inning is over. A's are gone in order. It remains 6th as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, and I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. There to take it in is Craig, and that's your first out. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Now a check swing as he pops this one onto the right side. And the pitch. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now here's the pitch. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. In time to first, and there are two away. And I'll tell you what, a 3-0 lead with the way this guy's throwing must look like a 10-0 lead to these guys. I mean, they just haven't been able to solve him at all so far. 
Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But uh, this is foul for the first strike. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Pierce is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's. Still down, three, nothing. Number 20, stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be. A lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Butler. Billy Butler is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Swing and a miss, and Butler's gone here. Two away now. Boy, his guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Josh Reddick is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Boy, he may strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven. Sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. A's are gone in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Evan Scribner will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Number eight will take his third shot at it now. He's 0 for 2 thus far here tonight. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here's the one-two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Again, a one-two. And this is hit well towards the hole. Just onto the outfield grass as he makes the stop. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. Brad Miller will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And that's in there for strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. And he'll get over to... Oh, it kicks off his glove. How did he do that? Well, I'm not sure exactly what the issue on this play was. He doesn't have too far to go to get this thing, and it looked like the ball was right in his sights the entire way, but it just didn't want to stick in his glove. Maybe he should take the trampoline out of his glove. Chris Young will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. He's ready now, the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The 1-1. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. Now the one-two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another one, two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now another one, two. 
it changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Here now the 2-2. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Now the question, do you send the guy on 3-2 and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Number 66 is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Matt Davidson will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Boy, it's one thing for a reliever to come in out of the pen and throw 100 miles an hour for 15 pitches or so. But he's right up there around the century mark now, and he's still throwing hard. He's set now the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. The A's strand one. They're down 4 nothing. him with a high fastball but he wouldn't commit it's ball one now here's the pitch and a strike to even the count one and one here's a guy that understands it's all about getting on base at this point so good idea there just to wait for strike one and he'll have himself a base hit Yeah, and guys, there's a look at his line through the first few innings. Pretty dominant so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight, and the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Bobby Crocker stands in as he looks at a cold strike. The pitch count, you asked, right at 100 now, but I think this is still a game that he can finish off, no doubt about it. Nobody out, runner on first. He's ready. Now the pitch. And now a double play ball, perhaps, for Pedroia. One there. On to Craig, and it's in time. A double play. And that may have sealed their fate right there. You get the leadoff man on here in the ninth, but then it's a big double play right here, and it's like all the energy just got sucked right out of this ballpark. Number 20. And in now is their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up for wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Yeah, just two hits were all they could muster off of him. He was in complete control from the start of this game, and he finished it off in style, too. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top's player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. 